There's a long way to go still in EV charging, right? The market is growing, uh, but we still have a very long way to go, both in terms of scaling and in terms of uh, the user experience. And if we're going to get there, it's not going to be one company that sort of takes all, right? Which creates a top-down, vertically integrated system that then conquers the market. I think it's going to be a collaboration. And I think for that, companies need to be open, both on your platform side, but also in your dealings with other companies. For me, ideal EV charging would be if a driver could rock up to a charging point in their uh, car, they select the e-mobility service provider they want to use, right? the contract that they want to use to charge, so you don't have to deal with an app. So TomTom is an infotainment system inside the vehicle. That's connected intrinsically to the vehicle. It's also always accessible for EV drivers. Def power in the back is connected to all the different charging points that EV drivers might want to go to, and it has an invoicing system to make sure that no matter where you charge, you get one transparent invoice at the end of the month, something which should be taken for granted, but unfortunately, it's still not as, uh, as common as, as you might want it to be. So where TomTom is offering a superior infotainment system to OEMs, Def Power is connecting in a superior software platform to these operators and to these drivers. Bringing those two together, you could have charging points displayed in the vehicle with transparent pricing. When you show up at a charging point, you could either plug in and charge via plug and charge, ideally, or if the charging point is not plug and charge capable, you could start the charging session immediately from your dash. They then plug in and the charging session starts. You don't have to deal with RFID. At the end of the charging session, they unplug, they hang it back, and they receive an invoice. That user experience is made a little bit easier.